as you can see here, this is, it's a printer that's almost done. I'm pretty much just tweaking lots of little bits that's getting a bit annoying with some of the parts I'm doing. So I'm going to chat about what I've learned about the display controller, um, show you the actual printer doing the thing, which is nice. See there it's um, doing the printer stuff that it does so well. I'll turn the light on so it's a bit more obvious so you can see it doing the printing. It speeds up a lot once you get past the first layer too. So you can see it's doing um, infill at the moment. Oh, I just broke a print there, so <laughs> I'll have to um, cancel this print in a moment anyway. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to chat about... Oh, so the other funny part is, so here's my real holder at the moment. I had this at the top beforehand, which was doing the job, but um, since then I've been... Um, you basically put some PTFE tubing on the um, stock one, put that on there, and you normally cut a hole in this part, and that's the exhaust and where the um, tubing comes through. But that works in a pinch. So let's talk about the LCD controller. This is called a Fizet LCD, and you can see it's, it's quite nice. It does the things, you can customize the colors. Um, yeah, but the name is Fizet, not Fiztech, which will make people go a bit weird about it. So, to make this work on your actual printer, there's a little bit of a trick to it. So you'll you'll probably have tried plugging it into your computer, uh, to your SKR board, and nothing happens, and you're like, "What's going on? This is silly." And if if your um, SKR board is able to get to a point where it's reporting ready, then it should come out with an output on this. The catch is though that you need to flip the connectors. So by that, I mean that um, you can actually take off the little ribbon connector things, and I recommend doing it on this board, and they should both be facing inward, and by that I mean that the cable should be coming up in towards the display bit. Basically the opposite of what they are by stock. If you remember opposite of stock, then you should be fine. Um, yeah, so that's that. The colours are customisable, so you can set this bit, this bit, and I think there's another colour down there, which is good. Um, as well as that, I'll tell you about the gantry chain. So I've figured out what the gantry chain does now and why I need to swap things around. So if you have a look at the top of the chain here, now I'm going to make a video to make this be more obvious. Maybe if I put a little light on there, you will obviously... Does that help? Okay. So you can see that this chain here has to bend up a little bit as well as down. The reason for that is because when it goes all the way across the X on to this side, then it will bind up and jam. So this side needs to have the... I'll, I'll show a picture. So that's up on the screen there. So there's a different end on here and the front. So the one on this side, on the towards um, the other cable chain, that can flex up but not down. So it's fine with that one. So just remember, um, that's what you need to do. I've installed the first panel on here, which you can see. Um, I don't know what to think about these, to be honest. They, they work, but they're a little bit iffy to put together. Um, but they're working. Um, I've started printing out these. I've got a few of these on. They're doing the job. And if I get these printing out correctly, I'll have a full set then. So then I'll take it apart and start installing these. So for each side, or almost all sides, you'll have a um, middle, left and right. So just remember it gets installed like that. Don't forget to chuck on the heat inserts on the um, left and right sides. That's the chuck panel on for the bottom if you want to do that. Um, remember that the front, the middle is already installed, which is there. And um, yeah. So the, that's about it really. So you can see the prints is happening, it's nice, um, does the job. But yeah, for now I'll cut this out and we'll get it going. So the trouble I've been having is layer shifting, where this seems like it's moving too quick and I've had layer shifting problems and oh, it's been a bit de demotivating to be honest. I've had other problems happen too. For example, I've over tightened the uh, stepper motor back there 
to the point where it got it got the hex bit broke off. Let's see if I can go show you. Look at this. So normal, not normal. And that's because it snapped off inside the um the motor. So it's still in the, um, it's in there at the moment. Um, We'll see how that goes. So you can see here this print's failed already. I'm just sort of curious to see how it goes with um, travel movements and stuff. So we'll look at this for a moment and see how it goes. It's cool to see how fast these things really are. Like, I mean, that's why we, we're getting these things right. But yeah. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Alright, well, I'll stop this now. So, again... Pretty much just fixing minor problems so you can see this print stuffing up here. <laughs> so I'll close this print and um, finish up the video. Stop. Yeah.